Hey, what is going on guys? It is Heidi Z or HC Gaming coming back to you with another YouTube video. Athena's here. Say hello. Hello. Bay Vice I won't here. Be here for long. I'm gonna make food. Hello. Um, Bay Vice said she's gonna do this video with me. We are recording gaming news with Heidi for you guys um, in advance so you guys can get it on time on Monday. Um, but anyways, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing the, can I help you? The October releases, the reviews on them. And when I was looking through, I saw the list was actually, I don't know where I got the first list from. And it didn't make sense to me why there was only this many games on it. And the site that I use now for all of my games, the, the releases, it's the full list. This is a limited list. Um, so we're just going to go based off of what we have here. And then I'm also going to talk to you guys about a game that I didn't talk about in the first Gaming News with Heidi in October. Um, because I downloaded it two days ago, I think. What is on my screen? There's some on screen, but it's all right. Um, I downloaded it on my phone two days ago, and we'll talk about that when we get there, but let's go ahead and get in, into it. Um, and Vi is going to be my assistant for this video. So we're just gonna go off that list that we had, and let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so I'm pretty sure what it was the first one was October 1st, was Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. I think that might have been an update for the game or, you know, them fixing something with it. But anyways, it has a 76% on PC Gamer. That is the review that it has for that. Um, next is Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which I told you guys it looked awesome. I've actually seen a lot of playthrough of it, and it does look like an absolutely phenomenal game. I really want to play it myself. And I'm kind of surprised by the rating for this game. It is 4.1 out of 5 stars at with GameStop. And I feel like that is entirely too low for this game. Are you doing your pupka? <laughs> She's doing her pupka. Which is pup yoga, if you ask her. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's a very, very low review for the game. I feel like it should be slightly higher. Um... Granted, I haven't played it, so there may be some tweaks with the gameplay that that's why it's getting that rating. But, you know, just from watching the playthrough and hearing all the things I've been hearing about it, I feel like it should be a little bit higher than that 4.1. Moving on, we have Concrete Genie, which has an 8 out of 10 with IGN and 75% with Metacritic. Next, um, we have WWE 2K20. Which, honestly, I was kind of expecting the reviews to be like this for this game. And they have 5 out of 10 with Steam and 2.8 out of 5 with GameStop. And what I feel like really makes it reflect that is the fact that people don't really like certain fighting games the way that they used to. Um, I haven't really seen any playthrough of the WWE 2K20 yet. Um, but... I did play it, you know, the old games that they had before, so I'm not sure what's going on with this, with this one. I do want to kind of maybe dive in myself and see what's going on with it. The next game, I feel like this rating should be way higher. It's for Call of Duty Modern Warfare that just came out. I've already seen a playthrough of it. It looks absolutely phenomenal, and I'm still excited to get the game and play it myself. Um... And it has an 8 out of 10 with IGN. And I feel like that should be slightly higher. But again, I haven't played it. So I don't know if there's something tweaked with the gameplay mechanics or anything like that. But it looks absolutely phenomenal. The story mode is absolutely amazing. So I feel like that should be a lot higher. Moving on. We have Medieval which has a 67% on Metacritic. Next game that we're going to talk about is The Outer Worlds. And it has a 4.7 out of 5 with GameStop. And it, I've seen some gameplay of the game. I, I can't really, like, you know, deep dive into it. It's just, it's not grabbing my attention. Um, and 
one of the YouTubers I watch, his name is T. Martin, he's not going to be releasing the, the series for that anymore unless his viewers want to see more of it. Because um, it's just not grabbing a lot of viewers with the content. And when I've seen, when I was watching his playthrough, I'm probably going to watch Gold Gloves playthrough to see what, what he does. I know he usually streams it, so he's usually talking to his viewers while he's doing that. Um, but it looked it's basically, to me, when I was looking at it, I got a lot of a Fallout feel for it. It just, it's Fallout, but they tweaked it a little bit. Which I feel like that's why a lot of people do not like it. Because a lot of people absolutely love the Fallout series. Which I am one of those people that absolutely loves the Fallout game series. Um, so... You know, it does look like a good game. I kind of want to try to get more into it, try to watch it again, but I just, I'm kind of up in the, in the air on it at this point because it looks too much like Fallout to me. Um, but yeah, yes? Oh, nothing, the child texted me. Which one? Me. What'd she say? She asked about Dynasty. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so the next game on here, I absolutely want to play this game. I loved all the other games for it. Growing up, everything like that is Luigi's Mansion 3. And it has 4.7 out of 5 with GameStop and 4.8 out of 5 with Best Best Buy. And I was reading some articles, reading some things, and it Switch was saying that it is the largest release for them for any game this year so far and it probably will be for the rest of the year. Which I thought was actually really cool that, you know, this game was, you know, very, very high up there on on the list. And I know this video is probably going to be a little short um, because we didn't have that extensive, extensive list like we usually do for Gaming News with Heidi. But that just gives me more time to prepare for next week's Gaming News with Heidi, record some other videos and things like that. So if you see this outfit in a couple videos, you know why. Um... Anyways, moving on. This game we did not talk about because I pulled a very small list, not the full list from um, Game Informer is where I'm pulling my list now and they have a very, very, very extensive list. Um, let me try to pull it up again here for us. But there were a lot more games for the month of October than I have. And granted, there are some re-releases, things like that, but there's a lot more games on here than just the however many I had here. And this game that we're about to talk, to, talk about is actually the top one on the list. It is Call of Duty Mobile, and it was released October 1st, and if you guys know me, you know how I feel about downloading games for my phone. I don't like to do it a lot because sometimes I don't feel like those games on the phone are going to be up to par with some of the standards that I have for games. Granted, I do have a couple, you know, you basically just click to do thing games because I feel like they're somewhat interesting to me. I don't know why. Um, but I kept seeing the ads for it. Kept, they kept throwing in some of the gameplay, some of the mechanics when it was, you know, showing me ads when I was playing other games. And I was like, okay, I'll download it. What's the worst that can happen? Maybe I don't like it and I uninstall it. Which is the absolute opposite of how I feel. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. Um, because I personally don't have um, my PSN membership. I don't have it as the, um, the plus right now to where I can play online and do all this other thing, get the free games. I don't have that right now. I don't have Xbox Live right now either. Um, so I can't go online and play games. But with the Call of Duty Mobile, I can play on my phone. And it actually, with the kind of internet that we have, it works phenomenal with... Um, stop taking my list. With the internet plan that we... You good? Yeah. I ran into the fridge. With my arm. My bed. Wonderful. Um... With the internet plan that we have for our apartment, it actually is very, very well. 
Um, I don't get any lag whenever I do play and you know it also does help me like it more that I'm really good at it. I've always been really good at Call of Duty but you know this game actually was like okay you you can if I wanted to play Call of Duty again I would be good you know I wouldn't have to worry about you know um, the shame of not being as good as I used to be um, but I feel like the rating for this is a little bit lower than it should be but it is understandable for a mobile game. Maybe some people aren't getting the same experience that I am. Um, it's 7.7 .7 out of 10 on IGN, which is still a good rating. Um, but not the best rating, but I feel like it still is a very, very good game. And I do encourage you to go ahead and download it. Um, it is free on iOS, and I'm pretty sure on the Android App Store as well. Um, and... The only thing that really makes me sad about this is the fact that there is no story mode, but I do understand being a phone game, they don't want to take up everybody's space um, on their devices with the story mode for it. But it is, regardless, it's a very, very good game. And my username on it is HZ Gaming Plays, no spaces, the HZ are capitalized, and then the P for plays is also capitalized and it's all put together so if you wanted to add me you could I'm pretty sure that that is a feature um, on here let me just pull it up real quick um, but let's see here so what have you noticed since this game since I downloaded this game sometimes I will zone out when I'm playing the game Oh, not listen to me? It's not intentional. But it just, it looks super good. Um, come on. Anytime now. It's just loading the loading screen for me. Yeah. Yeah, so it is HD Gaming Plays. There should be an option to add friends. Okay, yeah, so it has some of my Facebook friends on here. Um, I don't have any friends on my friends list, so you guys can go ahead and add me. Um, and it does give you the option on this page to put in and search for people on here. She'll so, put it in the description. Yeah, I'll put it in the description, but it is my basically my YouTube name, which is AC Gaming Plays. So, go ahead and I'll add it in the description with us. And, yeah, but I really enjoy this game. And um, it's really cool because it lets you know um, right here. It has your, your phone battery and also, um, you see that little green thing? That's my Wi-Fi. Uh, shows that I have full bars for my Wi-Fi. And we actually have really good internet. I was surprised that we could get such good internet in an apartment. And since we do have some time here, let me go ahead and tell you about that experience a little bit. Um, she's in college, right? We're over there. She's right there. And I, as you know, we have our YouTube channel. And for what we pay for this internet, it is super good. Because we first we called AT&T. Because that's who she has her phone service through. And we see a lot of people here have AT&T. Um, but we did not notice when we looked on the Wi-Fi networks. Almost everybody has Spectrum. We're not sponsored or anything. This is just our, our internet company. And, you know, with AT&T, they came out. They, um, it was going to be forty nine ninety nine a month for, what was it, 10 megabytes per second? 10. We have three phones, two TVs, don't know how many game systems, two computers. We got a lot of stuff. And there was like a, there was going to be like a data, data cap. So we could only use an X amount of data per month. And they came out. They tried to run it through our, our wall where our USB, our um, Wi-Fi Ethernet connection is. And they told us, the AT&T guy told us, he was like, yeah, it's going to, you know, 
if we can hook it up, which they couldn't even hook it up that day, they're like, if we can hook it up, you're not going to get very good connection out of it. And we're like, okay, why do we want to get this if we're going to have terrible ass connection? Um, especially with what we need it for. So there was another company, which is the company we went with. It's called Spectrum. After being on the phone with AT&T for about 45 minutes, just wanting them to cancel our service because we didn't have anything installed and they told us the connection was going to be terrible. And it took them 45 minutes to get us to somebody who could do that, which I work in customer service. So I was highly irritated at this point. But I was like, okay, at least somebody did our job for us. I bet. Um, it's all good. And then we called this other company, which is our internet we have now, for the same price, $49.99 per month. We went with Spectrum for 200 plus megabytes per second, which is a lot better than the AT&T, and the connection works absolutely phenomenal. They brought us a router, they brought us a couple other things that we needed for the internet and everything, and it's phenomenal. It works absolutely great. We don't really have any issues so far, knock on wood. And the lady who helped us when we called for customer service, we told her the whole issue we had with AT&T. And she actually scheduled for the person to come out the next day for us to install our internet because Athena was about to start school and we needed the internet almost immediately. Um, What's that one? This door. Oh. Said this was you. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a second. But, yeah, so we have really good internet and... I really like our internet. Internet service has been really good so far, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, and you know. It's better than the dorms. My computer would like mess with me and it would like bounce up, like in and out of pages and like put random words in places. Yeah, and I've noticed that it really does help with uploading videos. Um, and we just have internet. We don't have TV or anything. We could get TV and it would probably be, you know, around the same price. But we just don't need that right now. It's not reasonable for us at this time. We just need the internet. We have Hulu and Netflix and YouTube and other things that we watch stuff on more, most of the time. We don't have the time for TV. Because yeah. we don't, like, have time to sit down and, like, watch a show. We just, like... Usually, we'll turn know, like, shows on and leave it on in the background while we do stuff. Well, like, and then, like, with, like, shows that do come on, like, on a weekly basis, they usually, like, take, like, a day to get on to Hulu, but it, that's usually fine for us because we don't have time to watch it when it first comes yeah. anyway, so it, we'd end up taping it and watching it the next day, so it just makes sense. Vi, you smell the food? <laughs> it just makes sense. To not have it because we have to wait a day to watch it anyway just because of our schedules so yeah might as well just not pay for the extra and still wait yeah but I am going to be when I end up going full-time I'm probably gonna pay for something so I can watch sports uh, not needed. <laughs> for myself um, but yeah that's it for this video you guys I know we went off into a little bit of a tangent there about internet and things like that but the video is being very short and I know that these videos, I usually keep them close to 15, 20 minutes, and we're right in the middle there. Ooh. Got another um, Sports Illustrated magazine. magazine. Um, cool. That's cool. Not sponsored. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoy these videos, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It lets me know that you enjoy the content, so I keep making the content, and... Also, comment, give us any suggestions. Tell me some games you want me to play. Maybe you found a game on the, the iPhone that you really like. Send it my way, and I'll go ahead and download it and play it and see if I like it, and maybe I can talk about it for you guys. And um, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. 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 Join the Zoom Nation and become a Zoomian. And go ahead and hit that little bell down there. Hit Get the bell on. It lets it notifies you whenever I upload a video because we do daily uploads on the channel. Um, we are currently in the process of making a website for the channel. We'll probably end up putting the upload schedule on there, things like that. Um, she's 
really in charge of it for most of it. So we're back. The magic of editing. Somebody called my phone in the middle of my outro. Assholes. Anyways, um, I was talking about the website, working on that currently. Um, what else are we doing? Nothing. Yeah, I think that, I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We, we really do appreciate your love and support and we still are trying to make that push for 100 subscribers. The real push, though, is for 1,000, but I do want to get this little milestone out of the way first, which is 100, then the next milestone after that would probably be 250, then 500, 750, 1,000. Um, but we really just want to hit 100 for now, so if you could go ahead and share this with somebody who you think would like our content, we'd really appreciate it. I know it's a gaming channel. We don't have gaming content right now. It's because I don't have a computer. There's the com pup content, though. There is pup content. Um, but, yeah. Go for the Baby Vi pup date. Yep, that Baby Vi pup date coming Friday. Um, but, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your support. And, as always, much love and peace.